In this video, I want to explain what is meant by an ARMA 1-1 process, and I'm also going to provide a couple of examples of series which could be modelled as ARMA 1-1 processes. So first of all, what do we mean by an ARMA 1-1 model? Well, the AR stands for autoregressive, so we just have a ordinary sort of autoregressive process. So I have xt is equal to rho times xt minus 1, and then the MA or the MA1 stands for the fact we also have a moving average process. So our error here is going to follow some sort of moving average process. So actually, I'm going to keep that a minus now. So I've got et minus theta times et minus 1. So an armor process is exactly what it says on the tin, or an armor 1 1 process is exactly what it says on the tin. It's an auto regressive of order 1 process, which is just this and a moving average of order one process, which is this term here. Okay, so what are some examples of processes which might be well modeled by ARMA 1-1 processes? Well, the first example I'm going to think about is where we're going to let XT be the sales of some particular type of good. Uh, this might be a, quite a commoditized good, so it might be washing powder, for example. So XT represents the sales at time T, and here, ET represents some sort of coupon, whether or not a coupon has been given to consumers at time T. So the idea here is that if we were to constrain ET such that it was zero, and we just let sales be constant at zero, then what we do at a particular time, particular time T, we actually institute or, or we give out a coupon. So because ET here is greater than zero, I'm supposing that what the initial effect this will have on sales is, it will cause sales to increase. Perhaps sales will go up by, you know, maybe a thousand units. But in the second, in the next period, there are two effects at play. One of them is the fact that essentially because people have bought that good in the last period, they have some loyalty to that good, which is represented by this AR process. So here, in order for the process to be a stable AR process, I'm supposing that the modulus of rho is less than one. In fact, I'm actually assuming that the modulus of well, rho itself is less than one and greater than zero, because I'm supposing that if people buy it in the last period, they're more likely to buy it in the next period. But what I'm also supposing is that we have theta, which is greater than zero. So this MA process here is going to have two different effects depending on the time period. In the first time period, because we've instituted these coupons, sales are going to be slightly higher. But in the next period, because of the fact that perhaps people have brought forward their sales of that particular good, there is a slight decline in the amount of sales which actually occur in that good. And as I say, you can think about people perhaps stop buying when there are coupons on, and then in the next period, they don't need to buy more of that particular good because they've already bought it. So there are two different effects at play. One of them, the AR process, is going to try and increase sales throughout time, whereas the MA process is going to have two different effects. In the first period, it's going to have a positive effect, and in the second period, it's going to have a negative effect. And that negative effect, what it's going to cause sales to do is, in the next period, it's going to cause sales to decline faster than would be predicted by an AR process alone. But then after that period, essentially, if we allow ET to be zero for all future periods, then we can forget about this MA one process because we know that there is no covariance between xt and xt plus tau, where tau is greater than one. So essentially, after the first period, the process just decays like an ordinary AR1 process. So it does something like this. And after a technically an infinite number of periods, but in all sort of practicality, after a, a, a sort of finite number of periods, we can't distinguish sales from its initial level. So just to recap here, what we've had is we've had an initial effect of a MA process, which is to cause sales to go up in the first period, which is this sort of spike here. Then in the next period, they've caused sales to decline very fast to this particular level here. And 
in the next periods or subsequent periods after that, sales have declined along an AR1 process. Okay, so that's one example. Another example I'm going to give here is if we were talking again about sales of a good, so XT here might represent sales, and here ET represents advertising at time T, because perhaps we don't actually have any particular readings of, you know, spend on advertising or the number of TV ads shown. So we're just modeling it as an error. So the idea here is that the difference between this process and the this particular example, the top example and the bottom example, is that essentially what we're going to have here is that xt is equal to rho times xt minus 1 plus et plus theta times et minus 1. So I'm still supposing that theta is greater than 0, but note that I've got this plus sign here opposed to the minus sign here. This is still an example of an MA1 process, although it's an MA1 process which is going to have two positive effects. So how does this work? So the idea here is that if we were to look at sales going along for a period in time, and then we were to advertise, perhaps advertising causes sales to initially go up. So that's just been caused due to this particular ET here. But then what we're supposing is that there are sort of effects on advertising, or well, advertising has effects in the next period as well, or direct effects in the next period, which cause sales to be slightly higher. So perhaps the effect is to cause sales to go up slightly in the next period. Then what we're supposing is that because we, we know we can sort of forget about an MA1 or our MA1 process after this, our process is then just going to follow an ordinary AR1 process here. So the idea here is that perhaps there is some sort of loyalty effects of buying the good. So if you buy the good in one period, you're more likely to buy it in the next period. So the effect which that causes on sales, if we're supposing that row is less than one, is a sort of exponential decay. So notice that this is similarly another example of a process which is an armor 1 1 process, but it has a different effect to that which is indicated above. Above the effect of the MA1 process is to cause sales to decline much quicker than they would have done if it was just an AR1 process. Whereas in the bottom here, they have caused sales to decline at a slower rate than they would have done if and it was just an AR1 process. So an ARMA 1-1 process can cover both of these two types of scenarios.